Hello, this is Terry Salee, and I teach seventh grade science in Hobbs, New Mexico. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how to motivate the unmotivated learner or the reluctant learner. So I actually made three little cards today. First one, great effort versus skill. Now this isn't all the time, but for kids that really always fail on assignments, it's sometimes not worth the battle for them to even try. So if they know that occasionally you're assessing their effort and their ability to try instead of their skill level, you'll have more success on getting them to work sometimes. Second thing, Acknowledge every student every day. Our, um, I've been trained in something called Capturing Kids Hearts, which I think is a wonderful program. But And one of the things that I do is I always shake the hand in a professional manner to every student every day and say hi. And students notice that, um, that you're nice or that you are collegial or nice to every um, even the kids that I don't always need to have people be nice to them all the time. And it matters to all of them. So acknowledge every student every day. And the last thing is you will know your students, but especially for the uh, reluctant learner, sometimes praise, if you do it verbally out for everyone to hear, it may backfire and that surprises some. So praise privately sometimes. You can do it um, verbally on their own. Um, something that we do here, um, Sorry, it says, these are little postcards. This is actually just a template because I ran out of the postcards. But it says, have you heard the latest buzz? Your child deserves applause. And we send these home. And I make a goal of at least sending four home a month. I always do more because I my goal is by the end of the year that every child uh, receives some type of a positive message from me uh, to their house. And I think that's it. So that is a few skill strategies on how to uh, motivate the reluctant learner. Thanks.